Imagine that you're 14 years old and you're diagnosed with a condition that causes you a lot of pain in your life, a lot of grief. That's what happened to me when I was 14. It actually was a condition, a speech impediment, that prevented me from pronunciating or enunciating the letter R. It was so painful that it led to a lot of ridicule in my life. In fact, they called this impediment rhoticism, or as I called it, oticism. <laughs> Can you imagine having this impediment and being given a name, Ron Carr? <laughs> the bullying, I can't even tell you what it was like. I was given names because I couldn't pronounce my name Ron, it was Juan. And I remember I went for a speech lesson one time, and it was so painful because they were trying to get my tongue to move in the right way, and it just wouldn't, and I was so aggravated I gave up. But then I had another couple of years of bullying, and I decided that something had to stop, and the only one who was going to be able to stop it is me. So I found a speech therapist in New York, and I went to see her. I said, what's it going to take? Do you see any hope? And she goes, yes, I do but it's going to take a commitment on your part. It's not going to be one week. It's not going to be two weeks. It could be a year to two years. Are you committed? And I decided to commit to that. And it was painful. But the good news is, after two years, most of that impediment went away. And on July 30th, 2013, on the main stage of the Marriott Ballroom in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I was inducted as the 40th president of the National Speakers Association. Who would have thought at that time that that was even possible? Now, all of us go through our own challenges. Is that a fair statement? But the point that I want you to understand is that it all starts and ends with us. Your success starts and ends with you. It's not about the economy. It's not about your competition. For example, do me a favor and take your hands and just clap very lightly. Ready? Go. Just clap very lightly. Stop. How many of you are really energized right now? Raise your hands. Not one hand went up. Now on the camera three, I really want you to clap loudly and hoot and holler. Ready? Go. How many of you energized? Raise your hands. You just proved the point. You create your own energy. It starts and stops with you.